E-Girl Power presents Women's Rights Moving Forward. Almost 250 years ago, women were in a much different position in society. In 1769, women had limited property rights. They could not own property in their own name, nor could they keep their own wages. And over the course of the next 200 years, women would fight for an equal role in society. 1848, Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott, along with 300 activists, gather in Seneca Falls, New York. There, they sign the Declaration of Sentiments and Resolutions, modeled on the Declaration of Independence, and called for the equal treatment of women and men under law and for the voting rights of women. This gathering would become the first official Women's Rights Convention and marked an important moment in the women's rights movement. In 1868, Equal pay for equal work, which is the idea that women must be paid the same as a man for doing the same job, was backed by the National Labor Union. 1869, the Territory of Wyoming becomes the first in the nation to pass a law giving women over the age of 21 the right to vote. 1872, Congress enacts a law granting female federal employees equal pay for equal work. That same year, Susan B. Anthony was arrested for attempting to vote and was convicted of unlawful voting. In 1903, the Women's Trade Union League is established to advocate for improved wages and working conditions for women. In 1920, 72 years after the Seneca Falls Convention, the 19th Amendment is ratified, giving women the right to vote. 1923, the first Equal Rights Amendment was introduced in Congress asking for equal rights for men and women throughout the United States. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy appointed Eleanor Roosevelt to lead the President's Commission on the Status of Women, which documented substantial workplace discrimination against women and put forth recommendations for improvement. 1963, the Equal Pay Act becomes law, equal pay for men and women regardless of race, color, religion, or national origin. 1964, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 is passed, protecting employees from discrimination based on race, sex, and other grounds. In 1967, civil rights protections extend to women, ensuring that federal agencies and contractors take active measures to provide the same employment and educational opportunities as men. 1972, Congress passes Title IX of the Education Amendments, requiring that any school receiving federal funds provide equal access to educational programs for men and women. 1973, the Supreme Court decides that a woman has the constitutional right to choose whether to have an abortion or carry her pregnancy to term. And in 2009, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act is signed into law, expanding workers' rights to sue for pay discrimination. The fight for a truly equal society remains persistent. What accomplishments will our generation add to the legacy of these great women?